Hi, this is Aaron Aardvark, Adventure Rides. Today I'm going to do a review on my Shinko E804-805 tyres. Now I'm doing this review on my way to work because we're still on uh, level 3 restrictions, which means no unessential travel. So the only riding I'm doing at the moment is to and from work. So these tyres are rated as a 40-60 tyre, that's 40% street, 60% dirt. So I was a little hesitant getting them because uh, most of my riding is commuting to work. But they've been very good on the road, quite surprising. So the front tyre is the E804, it cost me $150. Um, I have 4,000 kilometres on it so far and I've been very impressed with this tyre really good on the road, not dry or wet, and it also works quite well off-road. I have a lot more confidence than uh, the Shinko 705s I had before. So the rear is the 805, it cost me $200, it has 6,000 kilometres on it. I'm not as keen on the rear tyre, um, I'm not a big fan of the tread pattern, it's kind of like a paddle tyre. Uh, on the road, if you're pushing hard in the corners, it does slide. It's not a bad slide, it, um, it's quite predictable. It's not too bad in the wet, it does spin fairly easily. Off-road, it is quite good in a straight line. It does slide out quite easily in the corners. And I think that's to do with the tread pattern. It doesn't have a lot of lateral traction. But where I found this tyre works really well is on uh, hill climbs and hill descents. I can get a lot better traction going up hills than the old 705s, that's for sure. Yes, I've been able to do hill climbs a lot easier. But where I found the biggest difference is hill descents. Sneak up there. Yeah, normally going downhill with all your weight on the front wheel, you've got to re re rely on the front brake a lot. Um, the, yeah, the back locks up very easily, but with this tyre I found it bites in quite well and I can control my speed a lot more with the front and rear tyre. Yeah, so overall I'm pretty happy with these tyres. Um, definitely more impressed with the front than the rear. For the price of them, they're very good value. There probably is better tyres out there. But value for money wise, I don't think you could get much better than these. So hopefully it won't be too much longer and I'll be able to use these tyres where they're meant to be, out in the dirt tracks. Oh, what's this guy doing? Yeah, I'm watching you. So thanks a lot for watching and uh, please stay safe.